Hi everyone, Sean here with BottomDwellersTackle.com. Today I'm installing two Big Fish T-Bar systems from Driftmaster. Uh, in fact, I've actually already installed one, so I'm going to show you what it looks like completed. And then I'm going to show you the installation of the second one. Let's go take a look. And here's the first one I installed, the T500H Big Fish T-Bar system. It uses two Pro Duos on top and it attaches to the boat using the stainless steel flush mount base. Everything goes together really easy. But there's a couple of things I learned putting the first base on the boat that you might want to know, so I'll show you those here in just a second. As far as tools you're going to need, you know, it's just basic stuff, but there's a couple of things I did want to point out. You are going to need a hole saw. I wish mine were a little bit smaller, but that's the one I've got, so that's what I'm going to use. And you're going to want to get some marine adhesive. The package comes with stainless steel screws, and this will help keep them from backing out on you, uh, especially if you have the same situation I have where... I don't have access to the other side of this boat, so I don't really have the option of using nuts and bolts. Now I've already marked where the center is going to be, so I'm just going to mark. I'm just going to mark where I need to remove this rubber tread. Something I wanted to point out was that you should really mark and drill your center hole first because each of these outer holes are in a slightly different position so if you mark them now and drill them then when you flip them over they're going to be in the wrong spot. So do the center one first and when you get it completed then you can do the others. Now that you have the, the center hole, go ahead and mark the outside holes. I'm using a 3 16ths inch drill bit. There, they line up perfect now. What I like to do is I want to go ahead and kind of get these threads started before I do the next part, get them all started. I'm using a really big screwdriver. I would not use would not use a cordless screwdriver for this. Because to get the threads started, it's kind of a chore. But you kind of want it to be a chore so they don't come out. Once they get started, they go real easy. I talked earlier about using a marine adhesive on this, and you do, but you want to add it last. If you add it in there first, it's all going to squeeze out and go through the bottom and it won't have any left on the threads where it counts. Do it pretty quick. Stuff will clean up pretty quick, but it does start to set. No biggie. Once you get the adhesive on there, get them tightened on down. That's not going anywhere. And if that excess of adhesive, you're done with the base. 